welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books, and today I'm doing the Romance Reader book tag. I don't know how I haven't done it yet. I've done the cozy mystery tag, and I've done a lot of other tags. How have I not done the Romance Reader tag? I don't know, but today is that day. So let's get to it. Let me know what your answers are of these questions let me know which of the books that i've talked about that you read anything else that you want to talk about down there's place to do it on your way down to comment don't forget to stop hit the subscription and the notification bell that's going to tell you when i put out new videos each and every single week all right let's get to it the romance reader tag in three two one go So I researched, and I hope I'm getting this right, that the creator of this tag was Angela from at the cat with a book. I will link her channel in the description below. It's a blog. I went to it. It's still current. It looks pretty awesome. I hope the original, they are the original creator. If they are not, props to whoever created this. And I'm sorry, if you let me know, I will definitely add you to my description. So let's jump right in. It's very short. It, the first question is, what age did you start reading romance novels? So I probably started reading romance novels when I was in high school. Not probably. I did. I was reading historical romance, which now I don't read at all, which is kind of funny. But I was really into, um, it's either Jude or Judy. It's, I'm not sure, Devereaux. And Judith McNaught. I think those were the two main ones that I was really into. But there was a used bookstore, which is amazing. I doubt it's still there. I, you know, I don't know if it is or not. It's probably not the same person if it is. But they, and a lot of places do this, but they did like mystery book bags where it was like a grocery brown paper bag and it would be historical romance or mystery or whatever. And I used to grab the historical romance and that's where I started in high school. Number two, if you could pick one hero to meet from your favorite romance novel, who would it be and why? I have no idea. I don't think that way about books. There's always interesting characters. And a lot of times I would probably pick someone who has been in my recent past reads, which would probably be the main character in the Reluctant Royal series. I read it just this past month. The main female character, I think her name is Letty, she was a in grad school and she is in grad school for like a science type of field and I just love smart, independent, strong women and she was that. So maybe her, but it's more that it was recent than anything. I mean, I think she was a great character, but there's so many that, but I don't think, oh my gosh, if I could meet that that one and that this is the reason. I don't necessarily think that way about my books. So there you go. The next one, number three, who are some of your favorite authors and why? I can answer this one, not necessarily the wife so much, except that they write great books, that's why. <laughs> but I love Helena Hunting absolutely love and I have just recently discovered her myself but absolutely love her writing I love JC Burton the play-by-play -play. I love JC Burton's hope series um and there's other series that are really great by her that I'm flaking on I love Lorelai James she writes like western cowboy romances I mean spicy 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 cowboy western romances she has the um what's the the first series rough top writers i think the name of the series is they are really good i've already read all of them they're really good but really spicy the other series i'm currently reading it's on my series about series list right now it is the black top cowboy series and i'm enjoying that as well Susan Mallory, love Susan Mallory. She has a ton of series that I really enjoy. And I particularly like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna mix this up with another person. She writes The Fool's Gold. Yeah, it's a small town contemporary, absolutely love it. And there's a multiple others. She has one that's about sisters who own like a bake shop and there's three of those, love it. Just love Susan Mallory. Robin Carr, love Robin Carr. The Virgin River series is so good. Oh my gosh, there is now a Netflix show. It was okay, but the books are fabulous. 
So all I'm saying is, although the Netflix show was fine and it was good, I enjoyed it. Don't, if you didn't enjoy it, don't make that the reason that you don't read the books because the books are tenfold better. Love, love, love them. Love the whole series. She also has a wine series I really enjoyed and she has a ton. And I've liked everything I've read by Robin Carr. Debbie McComber. I guess she, I mean, she's always considered a romance, although sometimes I don't know necessarily that all of her books have a romance in them. Maybe they, maybe they do. Love, love, love her. She's very, um, like, cozy romance. Small Town, again, her Cedar Cove series is absolutely fabulous. Her Love Letter series is great. She has a Blossom Street series. I read all those. I didn't like those as much as the other series I just spoke about, but they were good. Her Christmas series are so much fun. She has the Angelic Intervention, which is fabulous. It's my favorite. And then Mrs. Miracle, which is another one that's absolutely great. Love, 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 love Debbie McComber. She might be one of the authors I've read the, read the most books from. Lori Foster has a ton of different series. They're evading me right now in my head, which they are because I'm going to get her mixed up with Lori Wilde, who I also really love. I don't remember. I know she has a fighter series that I really, really loved. And she has other ones, that, that, but that's the one coming to me. Don't remember the name. I'm very sorry. Vivian Arren, she writes the Rocky Mountain Haven series. Rocky, well, I think Rocky Mountain Haven is the name of one of the books. I think it's just called the Rocky Mountain series. Pretty spicy, western, really good. Mm -hmm. Very, 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 very good. Natasha Madison, she writes a lot of hockey romances. I really enjoy her, although I think her books are hit or miss for me. The ones that I really like, I really, really like. The misses are usually like still three-star reads for me. It's just when I love them, they're like really, really amazing. Anyways, a lot of hockey romances. I could go on. There's so many more authors. Wow, just mm, love, 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 love. What is a romance novel to reread? This is number four. I don't reread a whole lot of books, but there's a lot of books, romance books that are that I enjoyed well enough to read again. I just don't reread because there's too many new books I want to read. How am I going to get to all those if I keep rereading books? But again, there are a ton of books that I loved enough to reread. I would reread the Kenya Wright Lion in the Mouth series. I've talked about that recently a ton of times and it would totally be re worth rereading. I love the any of the series I mentioned before. I would reread. They're good enough to reread. I just don't have the time. Not even though I don't have the time. It's that, how am I going to read the stuff that I haven't read? So there you go. <laughs> and number five, and I think that this is the last one. Very short. It is, what book would you recommend to a non-romance reader? So I picked a really spicy one and a really not so spicy, but there are so many that I would recommend. The really spicy one that I recommended was the first book in the original Heartbreaker series by Gina Showalter. Gina Showalter writes a ton of books, but this is the only series that I know of that she's written that is not paranormal. And I really wish she would write more because I'm not a paranormal fan. But her writing was phenomenal. I really loved her. And I loved this whole series. I just picked number one because it was the first book in the series, not because it was necessarily the best. I read them a while ago. It's really spicy, though. The whole series is really, really spicy. So this is about a group of boys who grew up in foster care together. And I think there's more even than the series, but I think the, the first few are about these three boys in particular, and they're so close that they consider themselves brothers, and e each book is about a different one of those, and oh my gosh, is it good? Spicy. That is my spicy recommendation. My non-spicy recommendation is particularly this book. So I've read other books by her that I didn't read as high, but this one I read recently and I loved. It is the fourth book in the Blue Heron series. It's called In Your Dreams. It is right here. This is by Kristen Higgins. So good. So I love, let me say it again. I love the fake dating trope. I don't know why. I just do. 
there's a fake dating trope in this because um, Emmeline needs a date to a wedding and there's a guy in town, Jack, he is like amazing from the way they talk about him and um, everybody wants to date him, but they also love to use him as a fill-in for dates and different things because not just his looks, but he's sweet to everybody and he's just got this all around good personality and the banter between these two is off the charts, but it is a clean read. As far as flames, they allude to interaction between the two of them in a sexy way, but it's just alluded to. So that would be my non-spicy read. I hope you enjoyed this tag, and until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye!